Welcome back to Arm Forger. Today we're going to review the Sig Sauer P938. All right, so this pistol in particular might look a, a little bit strange. Uh, I did put a comp, I guess you can call it, on the front. There was a screaming deal on it. I wanted a little bit more length, and so I got the threaded barrel, and the threaded barrel without something on the front looks even sillier than this. So I put a comp on it. I don't know how much it does to prevent kind of snappiness, but it's on there, so bear with that. This one also has those Hogue grips. Very, very grippy. You can grab a hold of this guy. It does have the Ambi safety. I never push it with my index, always my thumb, kind of the, the back end of my thumb. It's hard to do that with this, with the Hogue. Uh, it's hard to kind of get the knuckle on there. That's kind of a nice feature. And this is a single action hammer fired. So the slide will need to be racked in order to uh, cock this hammer, or you could pull it back physically, and it will perform one single action with the trigger pull. This is a beautiful little gun. I had some pearl grips on this at one point, and the, uh, the I don't know if it was polymer or plastic or what it was, but uh, it, didn't, it didn't do so well in here. It cracked, and then I, I had to take them off. But the hoe grips, mm, love those. You can really get a mm, grip on that. I also put this clip on here, and I'll leave a name uh, right here of what that is, and the brand that is. This basically goes inside of your belt, and it's always smart to have a trigger guard as well attached. And some of those are pretty cool. You can get a little string with it, and so when you do draw and pull, pull out of the, the pants inside the waistband here, then the trigger guard comes with it, and you're, and you're ready for action. Uh, the reason for this and not a kydex is it's more concealable in some ways. You, you don't really have that uh, bulk, that extra bulk there. Although kydex is, is great. It's fantastic. Some people like leather, and so you do you. I, I've got this clip on here. It does have a pretty nice extended beaver tail. I, I'm not getting my... I'm not getting slide bite on my hand here, and I can get get my hand right under there and make things happen without without uh, harming my hands. And the sights on this are, are pretty nice. I, I do enjoy these. It has the three dots, uh, and it seems very very accurate. I can I can hit targets from pretty far away with this, and that's not the the point. That's not why I would be using this as sort of a subcompact. Uh, concealed carry. I, I wouldn't be trying to hit targets from really far away, but if the need should arise, this this will handle the job too. So why this one instead of like a Kimber Micro 1911? Because this almost looks like it would serve the same purpose in in the aesthetics. But I just I, I, I like this one a, a little bit better. It just has the features that I like just a little bit more, and it's Sig. I, I, I'm I'm into Sig. Don't forget, if you like the content and want to see more reviews on pistols and rifles and just gun stuff in general, hit that subscribe button. It would really help the channel, and I could produce more videos like this. All right, so let's see how it shoots. Okay, six rounds, and I took the head off of that thing. I don't know if you could see that. Uh, maybe if you slow it down. I was just a little high for about three of them. Pretty sure I hit three, but you can run it back and, and see, see what happened there. So that was a six rounder. This one is the extended seven, I believe. Um, and it does give you that, that pinky support. And just, my pinky just barely, barely fits on that. And uh, I do have a little bit bigger hands, maybe thicker hands that are kind of stubby, but uh, you know, can barely get my, my, my pinkies just hanging on there. But it does give you that solid grip again with those hog, hog grips there. Don't, I don't feel like it's too snappy or that it's just going to come flying out of my hand. I don't know if that has anything to do with this guy, but I don't, I don't think it does. I think it's just a well-made gun. 
Also, I've, I've not had any malfunctions with this. I've, I've not had the, the round stick in the chamber or, or anything weird and funky like that. So let's do uh, a pretty quick mag dump with this and let's see how accurate we can be with that. Okay, that was six. <laughs> 